Hello there, everybody. It is, it is recording, right? Yes. Okay, and welcome back <laughs> to uh, another Steam Next Fest demo, which is pretty cool. Megan is actually playing this one, yeah. which should be quite nice. I'm pretty excited for this one, because this one is actually the new game by the Dead Cells devs. Yes, which we saw at one of the showcases. I, you didn't remember this, actually. But, like, we did see this at one of the showcases. It is a co-op roguelike, right? Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool and very unique. Um, and this is a single-player demo. Yeah. Uh, but no doubt, Meg and I will probably get the full game when it comes out, which is surprisingly soon. Might even be out by the time this goes up, which is kind of unprecedented for these, because normally I like doing the demo for games that aren't really coming out super soon. But, you know, we want to give it a shot. We think it'll be fine. I'll probably throw this one up probably the day after we record this even. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know. Because, yeah, I've been pretty Good excited point. for this one, and I've been really looking forward to playing it. And, I mean, I do have a couple Next Fest demos I'm going to play and we're going to record. But this one in particular I've been really waiting for, just because I love Dead Cells, it's a really good game. And the fact that this co-op for like the full game is really interesting to me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's give this a quick read before... Yeah, because I'm a little scared you're going to hit the button. Because, no. you know, I, I know you want, I know you're so eager, right? <laughs> um, so welcome to the wind-blown single-player demo. Yes, a real demo about as limited as a mountain DSL connection. <laughs> You'll get to explore the first biome in your village, but don't worry, there's way more coming in early access, and your progress will carry over. Cool, cool. Oh, okay. We're still ironing things out, so if your character suddenly takes flight, don't fret. It's probably a feature in the making. For your bravery, enjoy an exclusive guinea pig skin as a souvenir. I'm oh. going to play this too, then. That's cool. Uh, I kind of want this. Your feedback is the key to making Windblown the best game possible. We can't wait to see you on October 24th for early access and multiplayer. Until then, enjoy the demo. Thanks for joining us, Motion Twin. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, you can help improve the game. See, now this is something I always want to say, too, because once again, these are demos. Yes. Right? Anything we say about its quality isn't probably going to reflect on the game when it comes out. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, to be real, uh, that's just what demos are for, right? They're just to kind of test things, even. Get yeah. more of a, you know... They're, they're to give audience, you, you know. Yeah, because yeah, they're to give yeah. you like a broad perspective of like what the game is. And I mean, there's going to be some technical hiccups. It's basically like a beta, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, I will definitely accept this, though, because I mean, I like being able to get my dad to help them through the game. Of course. Oh, so it has online elements, too. OK, well, I guess I'll log in through Steam. As one may as well, because I mean, hey, then you get the guinea pig skin, right? True. Um. Uh, and, and you know, I, I do want to point out that I've not actually played Dead Souls myself, but you've played a good amount of Dead Souls. I did. I never got around to actually beating it, but I did play a good like, I want to say about twenty hours or so. I do want to go back and play it though. It's a fun game. Yeah, and I do want to go and play it myself, especially since you literally got me yeah. a copy ages ago, and I still haven't played it. I'm so sorry, Megan. I'm so sorry. Well, it's funny, because I think I bought you a copy ages ago, but I think you initially bought Dead Cells for me. So... <laughs> I think that's true. I think I did buy Dead Cells for you. I'm pretty because sure it was like a encourage... Christmas gift. But yeah. Yeah, right? Because like, I wanted to encourage your, your new interest in roguelike as, uh, roguelikes at the time. Because you're very like... I don't think I'm going to like roguelikes. Ah, oh, cool. You can choose a body. Neat. Hmm. Oh, but yeah, it's like, oh, I don't know if... I'm Gotta like Roblox. And then you played Hades, you loved Hades. So I'm like, okay, I need to I need to keep sparking this. I heard Dead Souls is good. You go and play Dead Souls. <laughs> well, I think the two big ones that I kinda got really into, like when I first started playing Roguelikes a few years ago, would have been Hades and Dicey Dungeons. Yes, yes. I still need to actually finish Dicey Dungeons. I have a few like the harder courses left, but that is definitely one of my favorite roguelikes. And I mean I don't know, like I, I enjoy them. Admittedly there's kind of too many games coming out that are roguelikes, but, you know, <laughs> they are cool. They are cool. Which body did you pick, by the way? The Pangolin. I, so I didn't actually see. Awaken. Pangolin. All right. Come. Join me. Hmm. Ah.
The movements are really nice. I like yeah, how the it tail feels moves. good. I know, right? Like it, it has some pretty decent physics to it. Ooh. Interesting. Dash. Yes, I did figure that one out. Okay, so you dash to move between islands. Ooh, fish knight. Perfect for fish. fish. Good for adventure. The last hit is critical. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's okay, so that's interesting. Damn, the animations look so nice. The art is just like so beautiful in this. Also, once again, we'll probably be talking the game up, yes, but. We're not going to sugarcoat things if we think things are bad. Uh, we will be very honest. But I'm going to be perfectly real. I think I don't think this one's going to have a lot of negative uh, commentary on it. Most likely not. Like, I will say in terms of movement, it feels really nice. The combat feels good. And I mean, assuming it has a weapon system, it, it might even feel very similar to something like Cult of the Lamb in terms of gameplay. Maybe, maybe. That's the impression yeah, I'm getting so good. far. I still need to play more of that one, but... You do. I heard the game's updated so much, dude. Like, I... I yeah. From what I understand, it's probably even a, a new game to me if I were to go back and play it again. Which I probably will. Ow. I oh, got hit. Lost half your HP. I keep wanting to oh, go yes, for that full the... combo. I mean, of course, right? Uh, but one thing I did neglect to mention earlier, uh, which I've done in the past, of course, with these, is that for the Steam Next Fest demos, we are going to try. We're not always going to su succeed. It's going to depend on the game. But we're going to try to keep things to like an hour minimum. Because, uh, like for each demo. Because we feel like, you know, there are a lot of demos to get through. Yeah. And I feel like a good demo will have you hooked and wanting to play more within an hour, right? You should be able to get the the experience that um, you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, if you're playing a demo and you're really not feeling it within an hour, it's probably not that good of a, a demo, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, wait! You're not a sentinel! We used to be like you, if I remember correctly, but things didn't end well seems to be broken. A shred of memory haunting this mineral? If you like, we can help you leave this cursed place. We can share what's left of us with you. It might disturb you initially, but hey, it's better than being trapped here forever if you ask me. Please choose True. me. You can only absorb one of us. No, me! Free me! Don't listen to them. Take the one that will help you the most. Oh, so this is where the roguelike element what? comes in. Probably. I see. So you can do the nervous one. Okay. Okay. So choose a gift. Random mark. Randomly mark a nearby enemy for every three seconds for 100 damage. Your first hit deals 120 percent. Bills heal you. Oh. I mean, a life steal is always nice, but I don't know. The other I ones. I kind of want to go with assassinate. Yeah. Extra I damage on the first hit is really good. They all seem pretty good, to be honest. Select. I always oh, that's forget. That's kind of the. Okay, so I can look at my stuff in here. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of one thing with rogue legs. And I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, sorry. I just did the toggle. I guess critical heads increase damage by fifty percent. Okay. But yeah. I was gonna say that's kind of the interesting thing with rogue legs, is that uh, you know, do they get the balance of like skills and powers that you can get like right? You know. Because some of them are going to be, like, better than others, presumably, you know? So, I think it's kind of a good test of, like, how well did the devs, like, kind of balance that? Like, am I going to want to choose, like, Necromancy over the other ones? More often than not, Assassinate over the other ones? You know what I mean, right? Yeah. That was one also, of the things I really liked about Hades. Uh, so I had a choice to go through a different door. This one kind of had like a skull icon on it, so I presume it's similar to Hades where it's just a harder encounter. Or it's a boss encounter. Probably. Oh, right, why? A glowing rock. Glowing rock. Oh, another gift. By the way, what was it that um, you were saying earlier about Hades? 
Oh, it's just I really like that about Hades where like the boons are designed in a way where it's really easy to make a good build in a various different ways, even with the same weapon. Yeah. Uh, Very true. It's isolated. isolated. Cogs looted. Cogs looted. Uh, let's try the mark. Okay. We're running pretty low on the old life, though. A little bit. All of the wind. Okay, pretty good. Death or look at that in a second. I just want to see this. Why is curse four percent? All curse. Oh, is this this is a different weapon? So I can use kunai's now. Very... Okay. Ah. Very cool. Okay. Oh, it's unknown object. Oh, I wonder if this is like mm. a bonus where like if you get to the end, maybe you unlock something. Kind of like how dead cells work. Mm, maybe, maybe. So I'm guessing the first hit dealing critical damage, or what was it, bonus damage? Yeah. Probably also applies to the kunai. Probably, that's true. I guess I should try that out as well. I mean, you don't need to. I guess it's it's probably just going to like depend on what your build is. Because, I mean, I don't know what they have for secondaries. Maybe some of your secondaries will be super powerful. Oh, right? it's poison. Ah, uh, uh, okay, it applies poison. Uh. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Or that's the curse, actually, now I think about it, it's not poison. Eh, you know. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, that seems kind of busted, to be honest. A little bit, because it stacks up damage with the curse, too, right? Gives a boost. Shells looted by team 10%, mm -hmm. damage 10%, maximum health by 25. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go with the safety route and go for some health. Okay, I think that's smart. A lot of pods to destroy, which yeah. is just fun, right? It is. Oh, looks like I might be able to jump on that rock there for a second. So I wonder if the initial portion of the game, like, because this is probably just the first area, right? I wonder if that is like single player only. And then after that, maybe after your first death, even maybe you get like access to the hub and multiplayer and such. Probably, because I mean, I am getting weapons and stuff in like a particular order, which makes me think this is kind of built to be a little bit of a tutorial. Yeah. Even if it is randomized a little bit. Um, so you got a bomb as your trinket. Yeah. Just boom around you. Okay. Cool down 35 seconds. Okay, so that's just kind of a... Okay, that's pretty neat. I mean, that's pretty good. A lot of damage. Like, obviously, it's very limited use compared to everything else, but... It's a good opener, right? It is. If you want it to be. I do also appreciate that he can't get that he can't fall off the ledge, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Ledges. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, tooled around with that as an idea. You're dying. Come on, excuse me. Nice. Guitars. Backstab steel criticals. L dashes behind your turn. Oh. Ah, uh, literal teleports behind you. <laughs> Gives you a little Naruto run too, so you know you can be extra cool. Yeah. I guess you do kind of have a bit of a crit build go oh going Whoops. to it. <laughs> I thought I was out of that. Out of my bed. Wee! Literally standing beside it. I thought it was out of it. 
That's okay, it happens to everybody. You know, I've had my, my silly deaths in Hades. Yeah, that's it. Kyle is back? I'm here, master. Ah, ahem. Another recruit to train, then. Hush. Another new recruit to train. Yes. Hush, keep it down. At last. Give them time to get over their emotions. They've only just come back to life. Oh. Well, hello. Oh. Uh, hey, he I'm puked on me! <laughs> Getting killed isn't easy to digest. <laughs> I'll get the mob. Welcome to our art. My name is Eperin, head of the village and the Leaper's Guild. You seem to have fully recovered. Our Makaba sure as well has to work miracles in the infirmary. See that thing you're wearing on your back? It's a pulsar. I don't know where you got it, but it's linked to your soul. It's what allowed you to come back to life here on the art. You are very lucky. Only those linked to a pulsar have the privilege of becoming a Leaper. The Leapers, first and foremost, are here to help the people of the art. They bring back precious resources such as cogs found on the Vortex Sentinels. If you show willingness to help the Ark's inhabitants, I'll make you a new recruit. For starters, can you see Kufric to the west? Apparently one of my apprentices brought him a sentinel golem. Don't worry, it's totally harmless, but we can get it to work. Or we can't get it to work. If you make it, you'll be one of us. What do you say? At worst, you'll be working with Makaba. Before you go, take this flask. It might come in handy. Oh, nice. So I can heal myself a little bit. Okay. Very cool. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that lets you change your form. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this could be very similar to Dead Souls, where you unlock stuff every time you die, essentially. Hmm. I wasn't sure it would actually let me jump on here. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if there's anything I can do from there, mind you, but... You're the newcomer. I'm Cupric. I'm in charge of restoring all the Ark's broken things, but this damn golem resists me. I've tried everything, but it seems to be missing a vital component. Perhaps you can find it in the Vortex. All you have to do is seek the same model and grab the part in question. I'm very curious to see what this golem is all about. Help, help, hello. <laughs> I learned your read error. Asterisk code P, P13C3M1551N6. Recovery He's attempt. Oh, also, his name is Bren Forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cute. funny. Pretty funny. Booting error. Assistance required. Missing original Venticore. Bren Forever is offline. And now he's back. Yeah. Okay, so a very interesting style to the village. Yeah. A nice little hub. Pick out for that. I was saying, I guess there's hidden oh, stuff yeah, on the hub. Cogs. Yeah. Mm, okay. Maybe you um, can play around with that later. I was gonna say I might be able to use that later. Yeah. Probably same with that. Or maybe there are, like, characters that show up here eventually? Maybe. <clears throat> or maybe in the full game, maybe this would be, like, uh, the amount of times you died or something. Maybe. Because, I don't know, I just feel like this is, this is going to be the kind of game where the hub is going to be kind of empty at the start, but then as you play, you know, you'll get... It'll become more lively. Maybe. Yeah. Look, here's Vomito. I bet they gave you your first mission after you bla blasted by the Vortex, lol. Damn it, Kyle. And what's more, you don't even know how to use the cannon, Rolf Lamile. It's so simple. You just have to get into it. But seeing as you only have two brain cells... Ah! <laughs> Bye. <Take it. laughs> There you go, we're learning. We Yeah. Huh? 
nice. We're back at the Golden Garden. Presumably there will be different areas we can go to as we unlock them. Presumably. Yeah, because I'm not really too sure what kind of roguelike this is going to be. Because, yeah, would you get to choose, like, uh, maybe I don't want to go to the Golden Gardens for this one? Or, like, is it going to be kind of like Hades and Dead Souls? Because in Dead Souls, it, it's very similar, right? We kind of go through the areas. Uh, like, uh, progressively? Kind of. Like, there's, kind there's of certain choose? areas that you kind of unlock, like, as you progress. And, like, the DLC areas work a little differently. But it normally just, like, randomly puts you in an area at the beginning of a run. Once you've okay. unlocked it, once you've been to an area normally. So it, it's quite randomized. That's kind of what I'm expecting this to be. Like, I assume if I unlock a different zone, it might even just go between the two. Unless it's more structured like Hades, where each zone is kind of like one after the other. Ooh, you can deposit for Kunai. Oh, I got to deposit three health for Kunai? Mm. We already deposited some. I would say they are pretty good. Oh, I gotta go the other way. But yeah, the Kuh and I are pretty good. You just gotta have confidence, see if, like, you know, maybe you don't take as much damage, something, etc. That's pretty early that they're doing, uh, you know, like, lose maximum health for kunai but like i said kunai are pretty good so can't really complain a burn aura i don't know object okay okay so those are probably similar to the items in dead cells if i remember correctly where you kind of got them like as a blueprint and then if you made it back with a run to a certain area you would unlock it for future runs mm, so i'm okay. assuming it's something similar to that which means I probably didn't get the I last one because I didn't likely. get far enough. I probably have to beat a boss. Did you get like some kind of cool special dodge? It did make a sound. I, it, I don't know if that was like a perfect dodge or... Maybe there's certain items where you get bonuses if you dodge like that. I mean, it made a sound and I saw something pop up over your head. I just didn't quite get to read it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see that in my I bed. <laughs> Alarm! Please do not destroy me. BF Forever is a pacifist model. Please have a friendly attitude when using BF Forever. BF Forever is here to help you. Ellipses. BF Forever can satisfy your request. Code P13C3M1551N6. Warning. He's missing yes. The operation is irreversible. <laughs> we hope you've met your expect or we hope we have met your expectations. Take care of friend. Oh! Night. Cool. Well, that works. <laughs> um, a bo boss? Seems like yeah, it. a type of boss. Ow. Don't make it, you can do it. Okay, yeah, so just as dodge. Okay. So it's kind of nice of them to give you that before the boss because i guess now like you technically completed the objective right yeah so yeah you're gonna get to see more of it regardless of whether you're able to beat this thing or not which is nice of it nice of the game Ooh. alter attack alter attack uses one weapon until the symbol signal appears and use another weapon to launch its alter attack. Yeah, okay. One weapon, okay. Okay. So what did that do? 30%. I'm not too sure. Okay. Okay, I think I see. So you build up your alter attack and I think it's a special move, maybe? Because it's maybe. a thirty percent. So I'm not entirely sure. Are you able to check like in your inventory? No. Can you toggle details? Oh, no, that is, you did that already. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to see you then. Yeah. Hmm. 
Because whatever the ultra attack is, it's 30% of something. And that was 60%. Presumably it stacks up if I keep rocking it? Because it looks like I got some kind of buff. I don't know. It seems like your sword gives 30 and your kunai gives 60. I'm not the most sure, but I am very intrigued. Oh, right, you're 1 HP. Yeah. Alright, now, will you be able to survive on 1 HP? And how long will you be able to survive on 1 HP? I am kind of curious. Now, so you can tell she's trying hard, because she's not saying a single thing. Megan, you're not, do you're not doing the content duty, Megan. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Is it just... Oh, no, it's actually someone. Alright, I'm going to be one moment. Okay. But you can keep playing if you want, just keep the commentary up. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best not to die. I got this. Uh, he's rolling. Okay. All right. Um. I don't know if that will end the level. I presumably not. That looks like a longer path. So I guess we'll go pick up our gift. And what do we got this time? So more cogs. Final restoration. 100% for the team. Okay. So we get bonuses depending on what we have. So because I have curse on the kunai, it's giving me that. Curse stone, final curse stone. Oh, I kind of like the stun. I'm gonna go with the stun. Ah, okay. Now we're gonna head forward and try not to die. Uh... Uh... Oh, okay, that stun actually did a lot. Yeah, all right. Grenade, ooh. Let's throw an explosive towards them. 140 damage, 10 second cooldown. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm back. What have I missed? Uh, so not really a ton per se. I got this grenade pickup. And then I also uh, got, like, a passive ability. I don't know if I can show you, but when I get max curse tags, it, it does a stun. Yeah, it's the gift. Okay. Okay, because I did see that in the, uh, in the inventory. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I saw an LT. What's the LT? Uh, I guess we won't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe that has to do with the curse? Or my <laughs> alter attack? I'm not too sure. That may have to do with the altar attack. Maybe that's been popping up when we just didn't notice. Maybe. Maybe that's how you use the altar attack. Actually, now I think about it. No! Oh, I'm gonna suck again. I didn't see you come back empty-handed. Take this to the broken golem. Wait. Did you say I didn't see you come back empty-handed? Oh. Okay, I see you didn't come back empty-handed. My bad. You gotta, you gotta, okay, so you gotta read it, Megan, and not just speak it. Ah, okay, Golem. <laughs> Get the Venture Core to the Sentinel Golem. Venture Core detected. And Alice is the previous holder. Known holder. Oh no! <laughs> Try of the Oculus device in progress. Restoring <laughs> factory settings. Hello, my name is Friend Forever. I'm your personal. I'm your personal encrypted memories decryptor. 
I decode these encrypted memories and send them to the pillars inside the vortex. Once decrypted, you can find them using our memory pillars. Excessive use of memories is dangerous for your health. To decrypt, please bring an encrypted memory. Warning, decrypting memory requires memonites, material not included. <laughs> <laughs> to thank you for your trust, we're giving you your first decrypted souvenir, a beat bolt. A unique fusion between precision crossbow and a thrilling rhythm game. We hope we've met all your expectations. Please consider giving us five stars on... Friend Forever is offline. Thanks, Ooh. Friend Forever. Not in demo. Okay, so the death order... Okay, so you keep your stuff then. Oh, we get to repeatedly damage his foes in his path. Explode and burn. Oh! Okay, yeah, so you do keep them when you get them. Interesting. Fire with the right timing to inflict critical. No, I think we gotta try that out on the dummy. Oh, I see. Okay. If I understand correctly, this friend forever uploads Dakota memories to the pillars inside the vortex. It's a bit like escorting lost people back home. Using your pulsar to absorb these new memories will make you even stronger. Oh, I just saw these little steps on the thing and I'm like, oh, maybe I can climb that, but I don't think so. Okay, I see. Okay, so it is like a rhythm game, kind of. Kind of feels like it, yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, we could do one more run? Yeah, I think one more run's good. What, what happens if we hit LT? Never mind. I tried hitting LT there before, but I didn't have a pop-up, so it didn't do anything. Ah, okay. So, I don't know, maybe it's something more specific context specific. Maybe. So what do you think of the crossbow? It looks fun to me. It feels really good. And it feels like it does a lot of damage, too. It does. Oh. I don't think I could jump to that other rock, but I guess not. How come you had an exclamation point over your head for a moment? I don't know, I didn't see that. It's like around... I think when you jumped off? That was weird. I'm not sure. Maybe you tried the dashing again too quickly? I'm not really too sure. That was interesting. Maybe. Yeah, no, see the kunai seem good, but I don't know. I think uh, whenever I do play this, I think I'd I'd probably I'd probably go towards the crossbow. I don't know, it seems pretty neat. It seems pretty good. neato. Like, honestly, it might just depend on what kind of build you're in. If you have a build where you got to hit a lot of targets with curse or something, then the kunai is probably really good. Like, if I had a weapon true, that got, true. like, extra damage from curse or something, it'd be one thing. That's true. Thing unlocked. Yay, cogs! Cogs! <laughs> so I assume in multiplayer you're probably gonna have like shared cogs? Maybe? Most likely. I'm kinda curious how that is gonna work out. The guitars again. Guitar. I get to try these. You do. Because I mean, they do seem pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. See, I am pretty curious to see like what kind of weapons and stuff you're gonna get in this game, and how much of a variety there's gonna be, right? Ooh, a boost. Uh, good damage. Damage would be good. And I guess I that's true. I guess with the guitars, you already attack pretty quickly. Yeah. Crit 
Critical refill. Critical refill. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I am really curious what kind of environments we're going to be getting in this game, too. Like, how much variety is there going to be? Because I don't know how many how many environments are in Dead Cells. Oh, there was lots. Like, even before the DLC, like, from what I remember, there had to be, like, seven or eight different, like, zones. So, there was quite a lot to Dead Cells. And last time I played Dead Cells was before any of the Castlevania stuff had come out, too, so they have that as well. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm sure there'll be the a decent variety. Because they all kind of had their own unique properties, like what kind of enemies you could find. Some of them had environmental hazards. Like, it, it was pretty interesting from what I remember. It's just been a while. Okay. Because, like, you know, I will say this environment does look pretty cool. Like, it's, it's very pretty, right? It is, yeah. Um, so I am really curious, curious to see what else they might have in the game. Like, whether it's all going to be pretty, is some of it going to look nasty? Like, I, I'm really intrigued. Yeah, I am too. I'm curious if they're going to actually, like, affect your gameplay and stuff too. Like, are they going to have different properties like they did in cells, Dead Cells? Ooh, Raven's those critical after the third strike. How does a jump attack? Uh, I'm intrigued. Oh, it does so much more damage than my guitars, though. Like, it I really does. do like the dash, not gonna lie, but we'll, we'll try this just for the sake of it. I mean, it looks really cool, too. So it kind of gives you, like, uh, the move one the boss does. Ah, uh, there, there it was again. Did you see it? No. You didn't see the exclamation point above your head? No. Oh my god, Megan. I say, oh my god, in jest. Although I am surprised you didn't notice it. That one was pretty, pretty apparent. To me, at least. Uh, but then again, I'm not playing, so I also do have the ability to kind of look a little bit more. I don't know what it means, though. I don't know if it means that it's some kind of, um, like, thing to interact with briefly. It's just kind of weird that it goes away if you, like, leave it. Maybe it's something where if you see it, you gotta like stop right away and actually. The, so maybe you gotta be kind of like observant for when that kind of stuff happens. Maybe get rewarded for it. I'm not really too sure. Because uh, once again, I probably will end up playing this just because it sounds like you get uh, an exclusive thingy for playing the demo. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably give this a shot myself and, you know. I'll probably maybe learn what it was. Um, and if I don't, then no big deal. But I'm, I am just kind of curious what it means. I do like the look of that enemy too, like the weird kind of rolly beetle thing. Yeah. With like a cannon on its back. Hmm. I do wonder how long of a level this is going to be as well. Like, I mean, if it's going to be like the same kind of like length as like a Hades or a Dead Souls area. Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. Goo bomb. Goo bomb. All right. Get yourself your LB attack. Get more cogs. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, that's, that's pretty big AOE. Yeah, Does a lot it bigger have than any I more thought. Properties in the goo bomb. Like what? Send your. Uh, unable to move. Just inflicts goo. Okay, I kind of had a feeling. Mm. Get an apple for that. I mean, that probably would be good for you. Yeah. Oh, it's up here. I was like, wait. Yeah. Mom. Yeah, because you're just like opening up a door, uh, a wall, right? You're just making a wall drop down, I think. 
Yeah. I'm blocking your path. Um. Let's go with the purple cog. Ow. Okay, pretty good so far. Not taking a ton of damage. <coughs> Remember hit this as well. Alright. Yeah. Follow the wind. Um, Ooh, that's interesting. Is that like a weapon? Maybe? Uh, that I'm looks like it might there. be a memory shard. Okay, I didn't realize yeah, they well. would lock me in. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, well. Ow. It's okay. Dying here is deserved for not going to all corners of the map. I'm just kidding. That's not really true. I thought I was out. I was in the dodge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one seems a bit brutal. He's got a very big hitbox. You know, if I'm gonna come out puking every time, you think they would have like a puke bucket or something, right? I heard you repaired the golem. I'm proud of you, Rupert. Or should I say, grunt? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sure your using friend forever will be crucial for the future of the Ark's inhabitants. Now that you're one of the leavers, I'm giving you this rescue fish. It allows you to rescue survivors from the vortex during future expeditions. Oh, so they have that online play type stuff, okay? Interesting. Remember, the more victims we rap repatriate? Uh, repatriate. The... Repatriate, okay. Something like that, I think. I think so. The more the arc will develop. Good luck, Grunt. Come back to me if you make any more interesting discoveries. Okay, so I can spend my cause and get an upgraded health flask. Ooh, starting oh. with that. I wanna get that. Well, that's kinda neat. Oh, yes, these are like first. Okay, so let's uh, buy this one. Okay. And uh, maybe change her form. Makaba's just returned. She's near the infirmary. You should go talk to her. Ugh, that smell. I've already told her that it was a bad idea to leave corpses under a tarp open in the sun. Oh, I poor see. guy. Backstabber. Variant bait. Is... Oh, that's kind of cool. Nah, that is pretty cool. Hey! <laughs> Hello, young leaper. I'm back with a fresh load. If you wish, you can change bodies. Yes, yes, you heard me correctly. The resurrection machine can return you to a body of your choice. All you have to do is choose one of my findings. Mm, yes, like this. Okay, well, since this goes to the demo, let's do the guinea pig. Oh, oh that's cute. he's cute. He's got a little mohawk. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Alright, let's talk to the golem, because I want to see what that thing is I got. Mm. Memory database has been updated. Critical refill. Criticals for- Oh! So if you build a crypt build, you can get your trinkets more often. That makes sense. That's cool. That's cool. That is really cool. I like this when they do stuff like that. Okay, so, uh... Overall, what's your impressions of the game? Uh, pretty good. It looks really fun. Seems very... Unique. Um, how long have we been recording for? I'm just kind of curious, because I haven't been keeping an eye on the time. Uh, 44 minutes. Okay. I mean, to be fair, if you want, you can get, like, one more run in. Yeah, sure. It's up to you, though. Okay, I wasn't too sure. probably good. Yeah, we'll do one more as the guinea pig. Maybe, hopefully, try to get some other stuff. And then that we'll should be a good more. place to end. Oh, the Raven Blade! Yeah! yeah. yeah. I just... Yeah, because I just... Oh, it's a, it's a feather. I just noticed that. It's like a raven feather. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that is cool. But yeah, I just figure, you know, you unlocked some stuff. You know, may as well do, like, one more quick expedition. You know what I mean? I mean, that's fair. I just um, wasn't sure how much time had passed. So. But yeah, uh, impressions of the game so far, I, I will say it does seem pretty good. It seems very fleshed out. Um, it seems like it would be really fun to play co-op. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, So I... Like, I think we knew ahead of time from seeing it uh, during one of the showcases, right, like a while ago, that we would be pretty interested in this one. 
Yeah. Uh, especially because it has the, the multiplayer element to it, right? Like, you and I like playing games together. If we didn't, I, then I, yeah, it, it'd be kind of probably a struggle, uh, right? So, you know, it's always fun playing co-op games together. Yeah. You know? oh, it's pretty. It's a pretty little environment. Uh, or a little ledge. Um, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Oh, for Whether sure. Whether or not it would all be recorded, mind you, I'm, uh, who really knows. Uh, cause I know sometimes we just like to chill and play games. Yeah. After, like, a long day. I mean, I guess it depends. But, they let us have multiple save files. I guess we could keep one for recording and just play one on our own, whatever. That is true. But we'll, we'll have to talk about that and see, like, obviously once we get the game. Yeah, which I'm, I'm gonna be real, I think is definitely gonna happen uh, at this point. I mean, um, yeah, like, I'm having a really good time with this. Honestly, I might even get it sooner rather than later. Maybe not for launch, but probably <laughs> relatively soon. I guess we'll see how long, uh, like, how, how much it is. Goo Dodge. Goo Dodge. Because, like, the, the price might, might, you know, depend, right? Because if it's, like, a $40 game, I wouldn't be opposed to getting it on launch, right? Or close enough to launch, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm assuming if it's going to be a similar price to Dead Cells, it should be about, like, 30 USD, so it'd probably be, like, 35-ish for us. Yeah, because, like, your impression of the game seems pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm having a good time. Yeah. Ah, oh, the kunai! And yeah, look, I can't lie, it does seem pretty fun. Oh, you had your fish knife on as well. Yeah, I didn't realize I had both of them, because I was using X to, uh... Do it. Can I switch the button on? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very, very nice, I like that. Oh, but I could get the guitar, guitar skin. Oh, but I kind of like the Raven Blade. The Raven Blade is really good. The jump attack is really yeah. nice. Yeah, I am getting curious to see kind of like what weapons, because when you and I play, like what weapons we're both going to kind of gravitate towards. Yeah. Because I, I doubt we'll both be able to get like the Raven Blade, for example, right? Uh, or maybe we both could. I'm not too sure how it's going to work. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on how they do the co-op. It might be like, oh, you get a single item drop and maybe anyone in your party can take it. Or maybe it gives everyone the option to get it if you pick it up. I'm not too sure how limited they would make it. So there might be some yeah, coordination I, you have to do. Maybe. I think it would be... Like, I mean, I'm kind of in both camps. I think both are actually pretty solid. I do kind of like the idea of having to kind of pick and choose who gets what, who gets what weapon, only because I think it would make the runs a lot more interesting. You know? Yeah, Instead of going like, oh, we're both Raven Blades. It's like, okay, so you want Raven Blade. I'll take, like, the next one that comes up, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't think that would hit. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it seems uh, very, very solid. <laughs> and then she said nothing else after. I mean, you don't need yeah. the apple. No, I don't think I need the apple. I don't want to spend the shells. Very nice, got the drop on him. And then she said nothing after. Okay, that time, uh, that time. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm memeing, I'm memeing. Yeah, you can definitely tell Megan like locks into games a lot more than I do though. I do sometimes, yeah. Which is why sometimes, I will admit, during recordings, sometimes yeah. I do gotta say, Megan, you gotta say a little bit more, right? You gotta talk yeah. a little bit more during these sometimes. Especially if you're the one playing. Only because I can't say, okay, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go over this. I can't just say the, the random shit that streamers and uh, content peeps say, right? I mean, yeah. If I'm not the one in charge. I mean, that is fair. I'm just very sometimes. much not used to doing that. <laughs> I know, but some, sometimes, so sometimes you gotta do the, the gentle reminder. Ow. Uh, so which one did you take? I took the extra 60% damage against isolated people. Okay. <laughs> now, this one could be an interesting choice. 
Go, Chris. Hmm. I assume you can't go through the waterfall. It'd be kind of cool if you could, though. But. Yeah, I assume probably yeah. not. Oh, you oh, can. I guess I dashed through okay. it. That's how I got up cool. here. Well, you went the other way, but you can dash through it, apparently. I guess you can have, like, multiple ways of going to a certain area, maybe? Yeah. Which means I wonder if they would ever hide some behind waterfalls. Uh, I think it's likely they might hide chests and, like, secret areas and stuff behind stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Which would be pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. See, if they do that, I kind of like that. I guess they probably would, because, like, that is kind of a component of Dead Souls 2, isn't it? Where there's, like, some hidden stuff? I think so, yeah. Nice. Bladestorm! Blade Gives damage storm. to nearby targets repeatedly. Okay. Let's try oh, that out one. You missed it, didn't you? I did see you it this see time, it too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if it means anything. I really have no clue. The game hasn't told you about it yet, I don't think, right? No. Oh, neat. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. Stays for a surprisingly long amount of time, too. Yeah. No! Ooh, rip. Oh, okay. Good run, though. Good run. That was a decent run, yeah. Man, I was hoping I could get farther in the, the gardens. I was curious if there was going to be, like, a zone boss or something. Blah. Blah. Okay, pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know how long that run took, but yeah, probably don't have time for it. Although Megan probably will play some even just for fun, like on her own, maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, that's kind of cool. So this is the dodge one. Yeah. So I guess they're going to be similar to Hades where you can get effects on your dodge as well. But yeah, overall, a very fun game. And hopefully you guys give it a try. Like, when it comes out, I would recommend it. Especially if the demo is still live after it comes out, which I assume it might be. It might be. We won't know for sure, but... Yeah, I definitely recommend this one. It's a really fun game. It does seem pretty fun. And once again, I'm sure you can, you're can. you probably gonna play it a little bit more after recording our new Megan. I, I get the feeling that you uh, want to play more. I mean, which not, is I mean maybe. Fair. Like, to be fair, <laughs> if I didn't have much else to do today, I'd be like, hey, Matt, I'm gonna play some Windblown. <laughs> I mean, you could, to be fair. I know, well, I know. We just uh, have demos to do, so we can't do a ton of that today. Maybe a little later, though. Maybe a little later. All right, but yeah, pretty good, though. Pretty good, though. As always, link to the story page in the description. Go check the game out. If the demo is up, still play it. Uh, if it's not and the game's available and you think you'd like it, go ahead and buy it. I'm sure it'll be a very good purchase. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it seemed really fun. It is really fun. And I assume if you like Dead Cells, you'll probably like this game. They do feel like very similar games. This is a 3D game, Dead Cells is 2D. Other than that, they're pretty similar. Yeah. I guess that's kind of the thing that makes it stand out, too. It's very colorful and very, um... Like, the 3D models do look pretty good. They do. Right? They got a nice style to them, and the music is just really nice. It's really chill. It is. It's very comfy. Very, yeah. very comfy. Okay, though, I guess that is it uh, for this one. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. But for now, it is time we cue the outro. So, Frego, and we shall catch you guys later. Bye!